Hi, this is Steve. This is Bob. This is Jay. We are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And in this episode, we're reviewing the new Star Trek series, Star Trek Picard. But before we get into the episode, yep. we'd like to remind you guys, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. You can tell your friends. You can go to our website, Alpha Quadrant 6. Dot com. You can See like you. us. Like us, yeah. You can like, you can like Steve just for who he is. Yeah, it's important. Absolutely. Man, man, was yes. this episode refreshing? Was this episode <laughs> powerful? Was it something that we've been waiting for? Yeah, absolutely. So I think we all agree we love this episode. Killed the it. first episode Killed of, it. of Picard. Yeah, it was everything you want it to be. You know, uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, franchises out there, Star Wars, Star Trek, you know, we love them. But we get frequently disappointed because, you know, we get the sense that the studios feel like they could put out any shit in, the, in these franchises and we'll eat it up. But, you know, when you get an episode where clearly the writing was awesome, the acting was great, you, it, they didn't hit you over the head with unnecessary fan service. It was just a great storytelling. And I loved it. It was fantastic. I would say, like, you know, look, we're watching one episode. Yeah. Um, it was about an hour. There was no fan service. Yeah, I didn't feel that at all, which is usually a little annoying, especially if you know when you know a franchise as well as we do. Like, there's so many things that they could they could do to you know. Oh, what about this? What about you know? Like, this is a story about Jean Luc Picard later in his life. It's a story right. about people. It's a story about relationships. It's not about special effects. It, it's exactly what we've learned with the, this resurgence in amazing TV. You know, we have such powerful writing happening in TV today. Mm -hmm. and we talk about this all the time. Movies miss this mark all the time. And TV's getting it. This is a TV show that's getting mm -hmm. it. This TV show understands that what we need to do is establish relationships. Right. I felt every corner of this show, and that's because, you know, I admit, you know, I fell in love with Jean-Luc Picard 20 years ago, you know what I mean? Yeah. His character's been in my life for a very long More time. More than that, bro. More than that, yeah. <laughs> don't, even, don't even remind me. Um, 30. But it, it would have been so easy for them to make this dull yeah. and you know not emotionally engaging but right out of the gate man like as soon as the, yeah. the show started it's like the roller coaster ride began yeah. and I, I don't think patrick stewart would have allowed it to yeah, for to them suck. to do that yeah. he cuz he kind of like he had to okay this okay. and i think he i think he he is appreciating the quality as well i was i was wondering what they were going to do about data i heard they were going to have brent spiner and it had been so long nemesis remember nemesis was like 2003 you know, not a great movie. I have never seen it again since I saw it in the theater. Mm -hmm. That's how underwhelmed I was. But mm -hmm. Data died. Yeah. And there's always ways to bring him back. And I heard that they were, he's dead. Data's dead, but and so they're going to have a way to bring him back that's, that gives honor, that, that respects his death. And right. now we know how they do it. Yep. It's, it's in a dream. And I got pissed off, and I mourned Data's death all over again because yeah. I'm like, he's not coming back. But he looked great. Brent Spiner looked great. Sure, he had a lot of the white makeup on, but he looked he looked really good. And I love that he is an integral part of this. And we find out later in the episode that this is his daughter, which makes it this just triples the stakes, I think, because oh, yeah. this is Data's daughter, and and it reminded me of the when he made his first daughter on the on the series. Remember that Lol? Yeah. He made Lol, which yeah. is like such a moving episode. If you especially if you have a daughter or even a kid, it's an amazingly moving yeah. episode. It's and so I'm just so excited to see where this goes. And there are some things that, some things were, I think, were a little off-putting. Uh, didn't see a lot of aliens. It's all, all humanoids, mm -hmm. nothing really. Well, they're on Earth they, so far. Well, yeah, I know, and, th and that will well, change. I mean, what do you think about Jean-Luc living with two Romulans? I mean, that was mm -hmm. pretty cool. So it's a, a couple of things that I noticed. So first of all, so it's been 30 years, right? Yeah. About, um, and it, it, the writers did a great job of making you feel like stuff happened in the last 30 years. Oh my like God. they weren't the coasting world, for 30 yeah, the years. World moved There's 30 years of plot that is now background for this series. Yep. And they did a great job of, of filling us in on some of that in a way that was like, interesting, like provoked more questions, established some of the relationships there. Like, you know, he has two Romulans working for him, and now you know, like, yeah, he, he rescued them from, right. from Romulus, you know, because the sun went supernova. And don't forget, this is 20 or so years of, like, new canon yeah. start. This is uncharted territory. They really have a, have a, a wide open hand. Who knows what else happened that we just don't, we're just not aware of it yet. I mean, yeah. I mean, Mars is still burning after how many years? Yeah. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty big. That's serious, yeah. Um, who, and synthetics have been outlawed. That, that just 
is very disappointing. I mean, I like it. It's an interesting plot point. Oh, it's but a fantastic it's, plot it's point. But it's still like, oh, come <laughs> on. What's the problem, man? They're, they're, they're people, too. We got, we got a band yeah, something now. But something happened. You know, like the, like a very serious thing happened. People freaked out. You know, it's, it's yeah. you know, this. So like Dune, like, like Dune with the, when the artificial intelligences almost took over. Or and, Fallout 4 and Dune with the sense. Banned, yeah. it totally banned, uh, you know, anything that's remotely approaching artificial intelligence. So the big so question. We, I want to hear from both of you. Does it feel like Star Trek? Totally. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's more, I mean, it, it, not 100% to me, because it, it's all like on Earth. It, it, it's mostly on Earth. Yeah, so yeah but this it is the setup. Have, it, it's the setup. So talk to me in a couple episodes when, there's, when they've been out in space. Then I could like, really let you know if it's yeah. really Star Trek. But I think but, for what the episode but, was, yes. yes. Yeah, I mean, Love it's it. in the Star Trek universe. The cool thing was, one thing that I thought, I, I didn't realize how much I wanted to see Star Trek without it being in the guise of them on a ship. And, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I want to see more Other about parts, the, yeah. the Earth and the Federation, and I want to see people, like, living a life, which I think was really appropriately done. Like, they mm -hmm. did it really well. It felt, it, it felt like um, that they weren't, like, trying to, like, quickly get through it. Like, yeah, he's, he's living on a farm. Yeah. You know, and he's, he's living a day-to-day -day life, and you could just see... You know, that there's a rhythm and a regular, you know, even in the future with crazy technology and all the stuff that they have in the show, there's still people. Yeah. And that's important. You don't want to lose touch with that. Mm -hmm. like, in, like you brought up Dune before. Like Dune is great for that as well because you realize like these are families fighting with each other like old school medieval style. It right. doesn't matter how, you know, technologically advanced things are. You still have to have people be people. And that's why I think this series, if it continues down this path, is really going to work because there's lots of relationships that we want to see be rekindled and yeah. we want to catch up with. Like, you know, there's, there's lots of complicated plot going on in the background that we're just getting a glimpse at. Right. The actors are good. Obviously, Patrick Stewart, you know, basically at the helm in terms of the acting is fantastic. Uh, and you know, good, a good tell is like I was, a, I was disappointed the episode was over. I wanted more. Oh my god! Yeah. And I want to know what happens next. Like that's there's a lot to get done in a first episode of a new series. And a lot of series, like the first episode, is kind of rough. Like things you could tell things aren't settled in yet, and you know they're still trying to get get their sea legs. But here, like they hit it out of the park, out of the gate. They clearly know where they're going. They know what they're doing. They they knew what they needed to accomplish in the first episode, and they sure. did it. It was fantastic. Yeah. I was I was literally on the, on the edge of my seat for a lot of that episode. And can we talk about the final image? Hello, I mean, yeah. Now what? The Borger involved in this? I mean, this was a I don't yeah, get what it. The hell? This was a Romulan Reclamation Center. And it did look a little Borg esque to Bob, me. Bob, Bob, there's no way that that isn't reminiscent of the Borg. Right. I it's mean, a Borg cube. It's a Borg cube. Right. That maybe they repurposed or, you know, it didn't look like they were working with the Borg. No. They, no, but they it's, stole yeah. Borg technology. We don't know. I don't know, but I can't wait Again, to find out. Again, more questions than answers. Yeah. Oh, of course, That's perfect. Of course. Yeah. So I think it's funny, like this is really good for Star Trek, but it also, it, to me, diminishes their other property. Well, maybe it'll bring, raise the bar. I'd like it. For I'd them. like it. Yeah. Too. You know, I think I think what you said before, Steve. I, we always like talk about like you know the the big wigs and the people wearing the suits making decisions and stuff. This really does feel like they just let them write it and yeah. Yeah, let them do what they need to do to get the job done. Right. I don't know don't why. Don't try to accomplish something. Just do good storytelling in this universe. Right. Right. That's what works. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And remember, though, though, guys, this is the first episode. Yes. You know, and it's, a, it's really a lot easier to, to ask questions than to answer them. And so sometimes yeah. series do that well where they generate a lot of speculation, a lot of intrigue. Like at lost? The, yeah, at the beginning. <laughs> why? And then the payoff is just disappointing. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, the payoff has to be equal to. The, you know, what they're provoking us to, to, to think about, yeah. you know what I mean? And so we'll see. But I, I think, all, you know, all indications are good yeah. so far. We'll, we'll be back later in the series uh, to tell you how it's going. Maybe we'll, definitely at the end, maybe we'll squeeze one in in the middle as well. So 10, yeah, 10 episodes, we could do one, five, 10, or yeah, one, something 10. something like that. Yeah. We'll we'll let one, you know how one it works of the out. Revising on 10, you know, we'll see. But so far, mm -hmm. so far it's, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, watch yeah. the episode. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. I mean, we really feel like they did something very good here. Um, but give us your feedback so we can we can think about it and maybe you know give us another opinion. And also, Bob, please bring over, bring over the Star Trek phaser rifle. Guys, you could win this Star Trek <laughs> phaser rifle, custom built by David Tremont, designed by the three of us. Uh, this is a contest that we're having. You can go to alphaquadrant6.com forward slash T3 for all the details. Please just, you know, it's very simple to register and 
some lucky person is going to win this phaser rifle. So, subscribe, join us, join the collective, Star Trek Forever.